So I was on my way back, and I just happened to notice we've got some hostiles up ahead. But it sounds like they're fighting each other, which might be a good sign. So I've got my BB gun at the ready. Let's see what we got. They might be down in that camp there. Um, in which case... See if I can sneak around here. Yeah, unfortunately, this gun doesn't have, like, a huge amount of range. The critical damage is insane on it, but range is a whole nother story. Hmm. Get down. See if we can hide long enough for them to lose track of me. Still in caution. Danger. Darn. Gained karma for killing that bloatfly, because he thinks he's a ghoul. Amazing. Uh, let's see. I guess I have the missile launcher. That did some work. Is that Scaretron still alive after that one? No, the Night Stalker is, though. Hyper Breeder. Gotcha. How dare you think you can get up to me. Alright, and where's the tunneler? I see you. There we go. Area clear. Level up. Nice. Alright. D20. Come on. We're hoping... We don't want one. Um, we want speech. We want... Anything, basically, but unarmed and melee, because they're already so high that it doesn't matter. Guns, too, would be great. Ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sneak? You know what? I'll take I'll take sneak 37. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm level 12 officially, so I'm just going to roll a d20, because we've got probably over 20 perks, actually. Yeah, so let me figure this out, then. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So if I can ignore two perks, then that would basically allow me to uh, just roll a d20. So I'm going to say intense training, no, and probably commando, no, just because they... They're probably of the perks the least, like, just the least interesting, honestly. Like, intense training up would not be bad, um, but honest, but I think it's fair to get rid of it. Now. Four. One, two, three, four. So it would be retention, which is probably the worst one on the list, so that's cool. Not because it's, like, uh, negative or anything, it's just a bit bland. Now we can just roll a d20 and ignore intense training. And that's another four. One, two, three, four. Robco certified. Great. Speaking of useless perks, um, that perk is, and its um, related perks are j basically just gonna fill my perk list with random nonsense, which is great. So this level up was a great success. Goody. That's fine. A level up's a level up. Got some more hit points out of it. And some more sneak. Hard to turn that down. And retention, which exists. And technically, I can repair robots now. Which may not be a bad idea to think about. 
what it means is we need robot spare parts and a fission battery for every robot we want to repair. Which is not the most expensive thing in the world, especially where we were lucky enough to get strung back. I can afford to carry some of that stuff. Um, probably worth thinking about. Let's see. For this place up ahead, I think attempting to use a sniper rifle is probably our best bet. Basically, there are less ghouls up here, around the test site, um, and they're spread around this kind of main area here. Yeah, four or five, typically, as the compass is telling us. Got a handy over there, ghost over there. I'm gonna go for the handy, I think. Beautiful. Do that just because if it was a Mr. Steel, that would be the most dangerous thing on the field. But it was not. Got a ghost person. But sniping you feels like basically a waste of time. And a fire gecko over there. Shoot. Gotcha. Only a young one, so not too dangerous. And we got ghost people fighting a mole rat over there. Gotcha. Yeah, even with my terrible gun skill, Christine's sniper rifle is a good weapon. And we're at the rep contest site. Now I think, from the sounds of it, that was a Gatling laser. So in preparation for that, it's either going to be a sentry bot or a super mutant. And I'm going to go with the bet that it's a sentry bot. So get the pulse grenades ready. Oh boy, there's a lot of things over there. Um, good. Lincoln's Diary and some armor piercing 50 cal bullets. Some 9mm tanned gecko hide. Some low yield mini nukes. Bunch of crap on that fire gecko. No, everything about the rep contest site is going to be a nightmare. Blade of the West, oh baby, and a sunset sarsaparilla bottle. He was loaded. But yeah, the issue with rep contest site in the randomizer is going to be everything on the top floor is a nightmare because it's going to be any monster in the game. Anything on the bottom floor is going to be a nightmare because it'll be anything in the game. Tunneler. Red Roach. Protectron. Okay, in that case, perhaps we're going to need a better starter. until we see the sentry bot. There we go. And I still don't have the missing... I would still don't have the necessary parts. I don't know why I tried that, but... I was hoping. It's Red Roach. Had an egg. That wasn't as bad as I was expecting. That's another problem about the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Robco certified perk. Is that now every single time we try and loot somebody, we're either gonna get the, uh, like, cannibal prompt or the repair them prompt high. Took me a second to realize that Coyote was there. But anyways, now we can head up to the actual site itself. Because this is, to be fair, this is one of the, like, this is a key quest in New Vegas. If you're playing through New Vegas, you've got to do this quest ghouls that want to go to space. 
and have a dungeon filled with not only ferals but also nightkin. The C757 Avenger, okay. That's that's a find. More mini nukes, more ammunition in the chopper, more ammo. I'm getting lucky with how much ammo is spawning there. And you want to check all these outbuildings because they've got tons of little boxes like this. Which even in the normal game have some pretty good loot on them. Uh, with the randomizer, who knows what will spawn out here. Probably won't get quite as much valuable stuff in the randomizer, is my guess. Because uh, back in the regular game, there's basically a bunch of dead bright followers and nightkin around. So, a lot of opportunities for stealth boys, a lot of opportunities for valuable plasma and laser weapons. Here we're getting a bunch of random garbage, but a lot of it's still valuable, so. I'll take it nevertheless. Um, unfortunately, I think that's everything here. I swore I'm missing a couple of bodies, but oh well. Let's head into the building and get, probably in these close quarters, keeping Hyper Raider out is not a bad idea. Uh, all right. Get moving. That's all right. Oh, this one's... Ironically, it's supposed to be a Nightkin, and today it's a Super Mutant. So that kind of works. And another dead ghoul. Ironically, he has the Rebar Club today. And that... That there is 100% the sounds as of a sentry bot. Yep. Yeah. Well, Robo Brain, close enough. But I don't think that's what those sounds were coming from necessarily. Yeah, no, there's definitely a sentry bot in this uh, building. Yeah. It's a good hit. Gotcha. Swap right over the rig of grenades. An acoustic guitar, some more ECs, and a missile. A couple of missiles. Back over to the hyper breeder, now that we know the sentry bot's dead. And one of them is actually a feral, from the sounds of it. Oh, of course I found another robot. Why don't you just stay over there? Yeah, there's a whole lot of salvage over in this building. If you've got the care capacity to take a load of junk with you, uh, it's definitely worth it. Gecko down. He had the blood shield, I'll take that. Another dead ghoul. Ooh, with a marksman carbine. And a salvage power helmet. I won't ever use any of those things, but they're interesting nevertheless. He's got Dr. Klein's glasses. Motor runner's helmet, which it weighs nothing, so I may as well take it. And the prostitute outfit. Of course he does. A surprisingly scary number of people have that outfit in this randomizer. Right, so that there is a mole rat from the sounds of it. Which even Eddie could take on, probably, so not too worried about him. Did Big Horner. A dead legionary. Don't know how he got here, but maybe this legionary got irradiated from uh, their assault on what's it called? Sir 
searchlight. Maybe he was a victim of an accidental casualty of searchlight. And he came here to join the ghouls. And then died. See, the randomizer may seem like it makes things chaotic at first, but instead it just creates an interesting stories like that. That being said, don't ask about the story of the ghoul wearing the prostitute outfit. That's that's a bit of a that's a slightly different story. All right. Goodbye. This place isn't as bad as I figured it would be so far. Enemy in here. Or not. He's upstairs. And I can do some lockpicking. Um, chose the wrong room, of course. Tool cabinet. What have we got? Pistol powder. Might as well. Individual cigarettes. Might as well take them because they weigh nothing. Uh, nothing else really of interest here. Is this door average or easy? I can get in then. And I'm guessing I can't open the... No, I can open the safe. I'm 3 -0, it's microfusion. And... Uh, yes, a hunting revolver. Probably the f fastest one you're... Uh, the earliest one you're going to find in this game. Police pistol, stealth boys, wrench. Two stealth boys. That's because that's a, um... I think that's a guaranteed spawn, but... I'll take it. More lockpicking. Worth it for the experience alone. Turn off my light. And just kind of clear the building a little bit. Oh, and I got an out-of-memory. Right. One little out-of-memory crash and a drop of internet, weirdly enough, later. Uh, we're still pressing on. Yeah, that's kind of odd. Speaking of odd, this is like the totally screwed up, like, recording session of New Vegas. Which is interesting. Well... Let's kill the Securitron. Where did he... Where did he... But there was a... Where did... What? Where did the secure? Oh, you're in this room! That explains that. Dear God. Yeah, I don't want to eat the bones or the ghoul part, so, uh, yeah. A little over-encumbered, but that's fine. We got Eddie here. So I might as well keep taking things that I don't need. Ah, but lockers. What have you got? Lottery ticket. And an iron. Was kind of expecting... Some more interesting stuff out of those, to be honest. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. But at least I have the Civil War draft poster. I don't know why there's so many of those in this mod. Kinda weird. I seem to have lost Eddie at some point. Like, I don't see his pip on the compass anymore. Which is weird. Uh, Eddie? Eddie, my good friend, where did you go? Up oh, there he is. He's stuck somewhere over there. Eddie? Eddie, help, my pockets are full. Eddie, you're useful at one thing. Please come and do that one thing. Eddie. Eddie, please. Eddie. E Eddie. 
Eddie, please. Eddie. 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 Hey, Eddie. Hold on to this skeleton for me. And this minigun. And this sword. And that gun. Yeah, hunting a revolver is not great for us, but... I mean, it's valuable and eventually it may be kind of nice. But to be fair, any gun is kind of awful for us right now. And paint guns. There. And I can carry the rest of the stuff. You can take that power helmet, though. And the Dakonis helmet. And you can take the riot gear helmet. Whoops. Who's upset? Don't cry. I'm here to make you not cry anymore. Oh dear god, it's a Cazador. Right. I had some snide remarks about how it was gonna be like... Oh, you're not gonna like the way I stop you from crying. But, uh, Cazador's, you know. It's kind of a 50 50 whether you win a fight with a Cazador. And just because you kill a Cazador doesn't mean you win the fight with it. Because good old poison. Death from beyond the grave. Gotta love Cazador's for that. And we got some radiation in the other room. Because one of them is considered a glowing one. An Alguai Gauntlet. It's terrible. I'm going to leave that. It's an actual ghoul. You're not an actual ghoul. You know what? I'm just going to close that door. Yeah. Robots can't open doors. rounds, take that. Take as much stuff as worth in this room. Foot locker. Five millimeter. What's in here? Nope. I already checked these, but I'm checking them again. Because I forgot what's in them. I've always found the beds in that room a little weird, because is it supposed to be suggesting that the test site people lived here, or is are those beds of the ghouls set up? And if it's the beds of the ghouls set up, how did they get all those bunk beds upstairs? Like in what's supposed to be not a huge amount of time. Administrative terminal. I can do some stuff there. We got a plant monster in another room. Eddie dealt with it, it's fine. It's impressive when Eddie deals with something. I don't ever expect him to win a single fight in this game. So it's nice when he actually does win one. Both for me and for him. Into here. Got a couple other offices to loot. But yeah, I only have like 26 bobby pins, so I'm definitely going to need more of those as time goes on. 
It's only a matter till we have to we start taking a couple losses of bobby pins on each lock. Because harder locks are a bit harder in this game. Anything else around of interest or value? Metal cooking pot doesn't match either of those things. Everything in this drawer, though. Yeah, if you need pencils for anything, which, uh, like, I can't remember if the Willow mod is still activated, but uh, regardless, this is a good place to get pencils because there's a lot of them. An assault carbine. The U.S. declaration of war on China. Some caps, pencils. Like this and the Nipton Town Hall to, are, to my mind, the best places to find pencils. Which, admittedly, most of the time are basically useless in this game. But sometimes they are useful. Is it basically just a bunch of lore about a whole bunch of stealth boys that got dropped off here at the test site, and they would that happened on accident. However, people started to play around with them. Just a bandana, I'll take that. And the fire's driver, regulator, duster, sure. Um, and so they had to take away the stealth boys from the workers. However, some people decided to cheekily keep a couple. Because, what was I saying? Uh, something about stealing stealth boys, being weird with them. You know, using extremely powerful technology to uh, creep on people. You know. The usual. Ooh, we got pilot lights up there. Oh, that's a... Oh. I was going to say. I'm pretty sure there's at least one skill book in Repcon. Um, unfortunately, I thought that was one of them. It was just like a conductor. Nowhere near as useful. Take some caps, because why not? Um, yeah, this place is huge, so... I'll, I'll probably just do... I'll probably stop looting now, and I'll just come back later to clean up the rest of it. Although, never turned on unlocking a door. Isn't this the one that has the skill magazine? A uh, skill book? Apparently not. I'm just a dummy that doesn't remember. But I found a ping pong ball, so I'll take it. You have a uh, plate. I don't need a plate. And last thing I need to go and check is just to down here a little bit. Because um, there's a couple doors down here. This bathroom has a third aid. Third aid. A third aid box. Yep, that's English. Definitely. This door, which just leads up here. But picking that gets us. A uh, challenge completed, so that's nice. And all that's left really is pushing on into this room. Hmm. Ah, he noticed. Well, that's no good. Uh. 
Let's try using a gun for a little bit. And now we'll just swap over to good old Bushy. No. By the way, I might be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure if you hear that, um, the, like, stop you in the weird lines that from those ghouls, ow. I'm pretty darn sure that those lines actually come from Old World Blues. Because the Lobotomites use the same voice lines. But I think they added, like, the stop you, etc. Um, later on. So that they actually speak. Instead of just making ghoul noises. However, it means that nowadays feral ghouls will randomly say words. Which they didn't, like, back in Fallout 3 and stuff. I could be wrong and they've always been in the game, but I... I'm not entirely sure that they were. Regardless. Head up here and say hi to Chris Haversham. Oh my goodness. The most dapper ghoul in the West didn't. Oh, he almost made it to the door. Alright, Smutskin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. But who will be watching you? 